So this is the third resentment video, very common topic, common problem that weirdly hardly anyone in the world of personal development is talking about. So in the first video, I defined what resentment is, which is about justice, something morally wrong. And I gave solutions to work with the negative emotion. In the second video, what I ended up doing is actually working with the opposite of resentment, which is gratitude. In this third video, I want to talk about resenting yourself. And inside the uh, Global NLP Training Master Practitioner, we actually also work with that. And those are things like regret and guilt. And it's a little bit too complex for this video to really teach you how to work with guilt and regret and resentment of yourself for things that you've done. Uh, we do that in our NLP Master Practitioner, uh, which I teach here in Venice. I just finished the training. Venice Beach, Los Angeles, uh, Amsterdam, Miami, uh, Mexico, and Indonesia, Bali. Um, and um, anyway, so the resentment of yourself is one way to start navigating this is by going, well, first of all, no one woke up ever, neither did you, by saying, well, let me do something today that causes me to resent myself. No one woke up that way, neither did you. So maybe that deserves already some reflection on your part. I never decided this. If I knew that the pain impulse of resenting myself would be there, I know if I knew that upfront, that that pain impulse was gonna come, I wouldn't have done it. I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't have, okay? So that's one. Two. I want you to go back in time for a second and I want you to go back in time and I want you to rewind the movie of your life let's say five years before you did the act that caused you to resent yourself and I want you to think about for a second when you see that you five years younger than the the age that you were when you did that thing that caused you to resent yourself. I want you to check who you were. You know, so this person had a certain childhood, your childhood, and as a result of that childhood, there were things that you learned and you didn't learn, things that you knew and you didn't know. And with that, I'd like to say that learning is, doesn't discriminate. When we're little, when we're younger, we don't necessarily filter what's good learning and bad learning. We also have to deal with whatever parents we were dished and born with, okay? So when you look at yourself five years before the event that you did something that you resent yourself for today, is I want you to check who you were and what you know and what you didn't know. And really look at yourself through your, when you look at yourself over there, let's say on a movie screen. So you can do this objectively without emotions five years before the event. And I'd like you to start rolling that movie from that place onward and you see yourself. And I want you to consider what shape you were in your life. Who was around you? What were the difficulties that you were going through at the time? What is it that you knew and you didn't know? Notice how young you are. And to keep rolling that movie before the event that you made the decision and turn it into a picture. And turn that picture into a black and white image. And then I really want you to again think about how young am I? What were the circumstances of my life? What is it that I knew and didn't know? And did I wake up that morning and decided that it was a great idea for me to do something today that causes me to resent myself? And I bet the answer is no. And this is how you start healing yourself. Give that you, in the black and white image, a big fat hug, because you deserve it. And you know what? Starting today, leave your resentments behind you and start having a little bit of self-compassion. Just like you have compassion for other people, you use that same muscle to turn that compassion towards yourself. And how are you gonna move forward in life by loving yourself a little bit more 
and actually bring some positive into this world and maybe change the lives of some others. See you around.